guys and welcome to RG Handhelds once again. Uh, today we got something uh, a little bit different to what I normally review. Uh, it's the uh, 8BitO uh, Pro 2 Bluetooth gamepad. Uh, of course made by uh, 8BitO themselves. Uh, it's one of the newer uh, uh, controllers. I just want to say uh, a huge thanks to Lindy from a um, Geek uh, Game Geeks uh, for sending this uh, geek buying sorry uh, do apologize geek buying for sending me this out uh, as you can see it plays the switch so you can actually use it on the Nintendo switch you can use it on Windows uh, you can use it on Android you can use it on Mac OS uh, Steam Windows 10 or the Raspberry Pi uh, to me that is simply amazing uh, so many different systems uh, that you can actually use it on which is pretty cool and it's the uh, G Classic Edition ATGK uh, which is the model uh, the box is quite nice as you can see there nothing too special so I just wanted to go ahead and quickly unbox this uh, I will be putting the link in the description of the video where you can buy this at a discount uh, I think this is one of the best controllers on the market um, so unboxing what you simply get in the box is the manual from make bit all themselves and the uh, type C cable uh, that's all you get in the box so I'm just putting that away uh, the controller itself is extremely comfortable to hold as you can see right there what they've done and I will compare it to other ones that I do have uh, here's my uh, classic uh, 8 bit toe gamepad. What they've done, and this is my one I use for Microsoft Windows, very similar in design. You can see what they've done. It's the same kind of controller there, but they've put these really comfortable grips on, uh, and these uh, rear buttons here that you have uh, to access. And what's cool here is it's a re rechargeable battery there I've just uh, seen, which you can recharge. And the coolest thing is uh, you have a selector here, and you select like S would be, I think, switch, A for Android, and so on. Uh, I've got it on D. I think that's the uh, Windows one. We'll soon find out. As you can see, the light's on. And we're going to have a quick look at it. But comfortability-wise... Um, it it's really is nice. I'm just going to show you quickly and bring in the Steam Deck. You all know the Steam Deck. Uh, so I have the controller rigged up to it right now. Um, and as you can see, it's controlling it pretty good. Uh, so let's get out of here. Uh, we want the back, uh, go to home. Let's just quickly get out of here. There you go. Oh. Quickly get out of here, I don't know. Oh yes, down to the library. Sorry guys, that was my fault uh, by not selecting the right option there. So as you can see, uh, it's working in menu perfectly fine. Um, we can go ahead and check out a game, uh, maybe an arcade game or something. Um, let's see what we have here. Let's quick scroll down and check out a game. Mm. What's this one? Mario Kart. Outrun, I suppose we can play some Outrun Coast to Coast, one of my favourite games. So, I actually have a, a, a stand case on the Steam Deck as you can see there guys, um, which is really handy to have. Uh, and it allows you to just leave the thing standing while you uh, go ahead and use the joystick as we are now and just enjoy your game 
So I'm going to FB mode. I'm going to select, I guess, Enzo Ferrari. the Enzo. Automatic transmission. Outrun mode. Passing breeze. And this is using PSP emulation. Controller feels great, um, you know, it feels extremely comfortable to use. And you have uh, plenty of control over your movements. I'm finding here. Whoa. Just went off route there for a bit, guys. So I, as you can see it's uh, running really good I'm finding it very nice to use it's going to take a bit of time to get used to but I'd rather use a controller on some of these games especially games like this changing the view there so that is uh, a quick view of how it actually runs on the device. Uh, let me see if I connect it from here. Uh, so if we exit, get into Steam and then down and just exit the game. So that was just showing you how it actually runs. But yes, very nice controller indeed. Uh, I do like this uh, on the rear you have all your buttons there you can see L and R, R2 and L2 um, that is your sync button this is your type C and that's uh, I believe is the uh, indicator you have your removable rechargeable battery right there the 8 bit one, one um, and your selector of what kind of system you're going to be using it on so you do have instructions in there and you've also got these extra P1 and P2 rear controllers. Uh, so I guess synced up to something like Steam, they'll do something. Uh, each button will do something or in uh, the Nintendo Switch. You have a favorites button here and another button. I'm not too sure what that is. There's a button here also and then you have the start and select buttons, the D-pad and all your other buttons there so I think it's a great controller um, probably one of the best controllers I got uh, compared to these guys I mean I do really like my controllers but compared to these guys uh, these are great for retro pie emulation uh, anything to do with emulation but this uh, I will be using this a lot on my steam deck because uh, it's so comfortable uh, and using the stand on the Steam Deck uh, so I highly rec recommend this guys uh, what I will do is put a link in the video so you guys can go ahead and purchase it maybe with a bit of discount um, but I hope you enjoy the video guys uh, hit that like button hit that subscribe button and we will see you soon